Okay, uh, welcome to Pathfinder UK. Um, I'm here in East Sussex today. Sun's shining and uh, getting prepared for a, a tracking course. But what I wanted to do was kind of give you a little introduction into um, energy tracking and what that means. I find that a lot of people kind of find that a bit weird or a bit out of their their league or they just don't understand it and what I'm hoping to do today is explain to you how actually all of us use it in every day of our lives um, and I think initially what's, what's happening here is that people people get caught up in their words um, while words are important they're only as good as the definition we give them so what I'm asking people to do is kind of look outside of that definition in other words look outside the box so you know, energy tracking can be called many things. It can be called intuition, instinct, uh, hunch, gut feeling, sixth sense, spirit tracking, energy tracking. The name's not important. What is important is what you what you bring to it, the mechanism that works for you, and the language that you use that you're comfortable with. Pheasants just shot off, so just wondering if somebody's coming up behind me there. So. Um, yeah, so it's about you finding your mechanism, so it's not me telling you this is what it is and this is how it works and, and this is what I call it, it's, it's really about me showing you other possibilities that do exist that we actually don't pay much attention to on a daily basis. So an example of energy tracking, recently on a course uh, there was a police officer, he was telling me about when he was driving down the road and he saw a guy he wasn't doing anything out of the ordinary, just seemed like a normal kind of guy. But something told him something wasn't right about this guy. It could have been his body language. Now remember, communication, verbal communication, is only 7% of our real communication. There's lots more going on. Body language, sensing things, just like a kind of knowing as well. So, uh, in his words, he pulled him over, done a check on him, turned out he was a dealer. So. To me, that's energy tracking. Uh, another good example of that is, um, and women will particularly understand this, when they get the sense that someone's staring at them from behind and they turn around and they look and they catch a bloke looking at them. There's an intention there and that intention is being sent out and we can pick up on that intention. We become aware of it. We don't necessarily have to be conscious of it, but we become aware of it. And it's that awareness that I'm seeking to raise in you. Um, the language that you choose to use around that, that's entirely your choice. Um, what I'll be offering you is, is, is a range of exercises that will allow you to see things on a, that are happening on an energetic level actually taking place physically on the ground. Okay, so um, hopefully that shed a little bit of light on, on what energy tracking is about. So just remember it's about what you bring to it and not about what I'm telling you it is. So the name's not important. What's important is that your awareness is raised and you, you begin to understand how it works for you. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, I hope that has made it a little bit clearer. Uh, but if not, then please feel free to give me a call. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you've got or drop me an email. Uh, or even better still, come on one of the courses. Okay, uh, look forward to the next video and I'll speak to you then. Take care now. Stay safe.